This video is going to show you how to set pay periods on your U-Punch calculating time clock. Please note that these instructions are only for the calculating models of U-Punch clocks. The first thing we need to do is get to menu HN2. So if you're not there already, remove the cover using one of the keys. Now we're going to move the set switch to the right. You can see the screen now reads HN1. We're going to move to HN2 by pressing the mode button, which is the last one on the right. Now we're on menu HN2, so let's hit enter, which is the third button from the left. The flashing 00, zero wants us to set the day change time. Now your clock may be showing 12 zero flashing, that just means it's set to standard time instead of 24 hour. Normally, the day change time is just at midnight, but maybe you're a business that closes at 2 a.m. and you want your days to change at 3 a.m. You can set that here, using the first and second buttons to go forward and back, then set your selection with the enter button, the third button from the left. I'm leaving this all set at zeros, which is midnight. When code 01 appears, we're going to set the pay period we need. I'm going to explain each of these, so if you already know which pay period you want, feel free to skip ahead using the fast forward and the menu on the left of this video. To change between pay periods, we're using the first button to go forward and the second button to go back. Pressing the enter button selects that option and gives us more options depending on the pay period. The large 01 is showing us which pay period is currently selected. 01 is for the monthly pay period. Your employees are getting paid once per month on the same day. Press the enter key to select this and you'll see a 01 start to flash. Set that to the day of the month that's the start of your pay period. I'll set the 15th as an example here. Once you have that set, press enter to select that day. 02 is for a weekly pay period. Your employees are getting paid once a week. We need to set the day on which the pay period will start. Press enter and you'll see a flashing 00 for Sunday, 01 for Monday, 02 for Tuesday, 03 for Wednesday, 04 for Thursday, 05 for Friday, and 06 for Saturday. I'll set our example for Monday, which is 01, and press enter to select that day. 03 is for a bi-weekly pay period. Use this when your employees are getting paid every two weeks. Press enter and then you'll set the first month and day for your first pay period. Set the month with the forward, back, and enter buttons. 01 is January, 02 is February, and so on. I'll set this for March 1st. Pressing enter selects the date. 04 is the semi-monthly option. This means your employees get paid twice a month, for example on the 1st and the 15th. Press enter then select the first payday. Enter 01 for the paydays to fall on the 1st and the 16th of the month. Enter 15 for paydays to fall on the 15th and the last day of the month. Pressing enter finalizes your selection. 05 is actually for no pay period. If you want to use the job tracking mode, this is your choice. The time clock will punch the card in the row for the current date. Press enter to make this selection. Now that you've selected your pay period, you can move the set switch back to the left and replace the cover. Thank you for watching this U-Punch pay period video.